Last week, the residents of Alabama voted in a Senate race to determine the future of their state and of course, it was riddled with controversy. Shortly after President Trump appointed Jeff Sessions, the race to fill his abandoned Senate began with both sides of the aisle realizing how important the outcome was. Republicans needed this seat to support President Trump and his agenda, and of course, the left needed this place to stop it. So, instead of Democrats offering a quality candidate, they did what they do best, cheat. Over the last several months, the left engaged in a smear campaign against Roy Moore that depicted the judge as a sexual predator despite the mounting evidence to the contrary. Then on the day of the election, there were numerous reports of voting irregularities and fraud that has many wondering if Doug Jones' win is even legitimate. For instance, just hours after Jones supposedly won the Senate seat, news that Alabama had not counted military votes began to leak out. Then there were videos of multiple individuals bragging on national television that they had voted multiple times. With that all in mind, Roy Moore could not in good conscience concede to Doug Jones and is now asking for his supporters to donate to an election integrity fund to get to the bottom of it. In a letter that Moore sent to his supporters, he asks for help in raising $75,000 to collect reports of voter fraud before Alabama's Secretary of State certifies the election later this month according to The Hill. Here is more from Business Insider. Former Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore asked supporters on Friday for donations towards an election integrity fund that would be used to investigate and submit cases of voter fraud and other irregularities, the Associated Press reported. Moore lost this week's special election to Democrat Doug Jones by more than 21,000 votes, but he is still refusing to concede. I also wanted to let you know that this battle is not over," he said in a fundraising email to supporters. My campaign team is busy collecting numerous reported cases of voter fraud and irregularities for the Secretary of State's office. Moore has remained defiant since Tuesday's election, refusing to concede in hopes that remaining write-in, overseas military, and provisional ballots that remain to be counted eventually narrow Jones' margin of victory enough to trigger an automatic recount. Alabama Secretary of State John Merrill, the state's chief elections officer, said that such a recount would be unlikely. I know a lot of people would say it's never over until it's over, but the margin of victory for Doug Jones at this particular time looks like a very difficult amount of votes to overcome as the remaining votes that are out there to be counted next week begin to be considered at the local level, Merrill told CNN on Wednesday. Jones currently leads more by a 1.5 percent margin. If, after all the votes have been counted and certified, that gap narrows to less than half a percent, an automatic recount provision would kick in. Merrill's office will certify the results by January 3 at the latest. Moore's fundraising email on Friday was the third time he rebuffed calls, including from President Donald Trump, to concede. Hours after Jones was declared the winner. Moore insisted the race was not yet over. Realize when the vote is this close, it's not over, Moore told supporters in a speech. And we still got to go by the rules about this recount provision, it's not over, and it's going to take some time. Now, as we know, the left most likely did cheat by having people vote multiple times, and if there isn't an investigation into the alleged claims of voter fraud the left gets away with. Next year, is the midterm elections which means that if the left found a surefire way to neutralize their opponent it will be worse in 2018, not to mention 2020. Granted, it is possible that Moore did not get enough votes considering the smear job the left did, but that does not mean we do not investigate these claims of voter fraud. If there is one thing we know for certain about the left, it is that they will do all they can to ensure a victory so they can stop Trump and his agenda and that must be taken seriously. Our elections should be the people's voice and not manipulated by power-hungry leftists desiring to control the American citizen. If we do not look into this election the left will think they have the upper hand and we cannot allow that to happen. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments, comments.